Hey folks, welcome back. Welcome back to West Coaster. This is going to be a fun one. This is a bringing you a long trail camera video. I'm out retrieving memory cards. You can see there's a camera behind me there. There's another one down the hill. Now this is on a trail where I keep getting bear video. I had a couple on this one and I had the up further before and I've looked around here and there's a bunch of trails coming down the hill here. And there's a little clearing below here, a bunch of bones and stuff down there. And I put a cold camera down there. It's a cam park, a solar camera. Um, so I'm curious how it's doing. We're in the middle of winter here. We're in the mid January. So I'm curious to see how that's doing. I'm curious to see if we got any action on that. And a few of these trails seem to pass through like this little clearing, like I say. So I'm excited about that one too, but I'll check this one out first. And I'll bring you down the hill with me to see what I see. And uh, thanks for coming along. Actually, I'm going to check out, check in on Mrs. West Coaster, who didn't come down the hill with me this time. She's up in the car. And we have our, we have our little radios with us. And we seriously, we, we seriously do use these. Let's just give this a try. Corn dog to Twinkie, corn dog to Twinkie, you read me? Over. Ooh, no luck. Corn dog to Twinkie, corn dog to Twinkie, you read me? Over. I got you that time. Thanks, honey. Loud and clear. Over. That's cool. How's it going there? Over. Peachy, I just got the camera rolling and I'm down to the first camera and then I'm going to take these guys with me to the bottom camera. Over. Okay, stay safe. I got your six. Over. <laughs> Atta girl. Thanks, honey. Over. And out. You're not supposed to say over and out. I've been told that. Anyway, let's go check out this camera. I'll flip this around and then we'll go down to the lower camera. This one is a two guard camera and it's, they're quite cheap, like on Amazon. Um, and it has an internal display, like not all cameras do, but this one does, but it, takes up batteries so I don't usually go through the pictures while I'm out here I just pull the memory card so I'm going to do that the same thing with the lower camera although it does also have an internal display let's go have a look well, this one needs a little snow maintenance Aha, it works. So as you can see, this one does have an internal display. Unfortunately, it's got these fussy little micro cards that are under here that are not great to pull out when you have cold hands. Here's another little uh, pro tip. Get one of these little Cabela's lens cleaners. It all just folds up in there, tiny. Just have it in the pack. It doesn't weigh anything. And you can do that before you go. Okay, I'm just gonna crash down here a bit. Did I mention we got snow? We got a bit of snow, which isn't super unusual, but we got some tracks there. So <laughs> there's our camera there. I guess that's not tracks, that's just falling snow. Look at that. And that. This trail coming down 
and it's all pretty evenly spaced out here where it's been planted but there's a little bit of a clearing here as you can see and i figured the camera would do okay as far as sunlight being here and looking out so we'll see what the battery power is like it's got a chunk of ice on it as you can see Maybe I can set this down. The shotgun's a bical. It's okay to lay it in the snow. It's on. And the battery power is at 100%. 100%. Let's have a look at that. Can you see that? Where is it? Did you see that? A hundred percent. That is the Campart camera. And it's sold other other names too. I'm going to put links in the description. There, it, I know it's sold under the same camera, different names, but Campart sells this one. It's a T300. It has Wi-Fi, which I don't use because we're too far away from the road here. The walkie-talkies will work, but not the Wi-Fi. But the camera works great, and clearly the solar works awesome. And I've got, I've got over 50 triggers on here, so that's pretty damn good. I'm going to bring you guys home. I'm going to pop the memory card, and we'll see what's been going on here. There's no fresh tracks in the snow, but something triggered it a bunch of times. Hopefully it's something interesting. All right, well, I got the camera all cleaned up. The Baikal needs no cleaning. The Russian beast will go rain, shine, snow, sleet, hail, you know. And love these cameras, man. There's something on there. A bunch of something. Okay, folks, here we are on what I'm calling the hill cam. And that is me, obviously, coming down the hill. And the first visitor here, a raven, obviously. Which makes you wonder what's around, that there's a raven poking around. Uh, I thought this was kind of cool. It's just the cool lighting there with the raven coming down again. Now this is... I'm calling it the hill camera, and the reason I put it here is because of these guys. I had a camera further up the hill and it was hit and miss but I was getting bears and I had a feeling that this was the route that they were taking coming down the hill. So sure enough it's obviously paid off and we'll see this guy come and go here. Now I'm not sure about this. I get, I've had a, a sow with a cub several times in this area you don't see it right now but we get a glimpse of a cub later but there's also a single bear and this may be it that I keep seeing so I'm not too sure how many bears we got going on here but there's something exciting coming up here this guy comes and goes but it comes back with quite a surprise here crazy I'll, sh I'll do that again slow-mo that is a black-tailed deer and he pauses here like he I don't know whether it's the camera or a little just rest here or what but down the hill and down to I think the little spot where this there he gives a little kiss goodbye there some that was days later i don't know what that was but here we are at the lower camera there's a bear now this is not the same day i'm pretty sure the timings are right on these and it's not the same day but this is the kind of level spot a little bit of a clearing 
there where I've got the second camera. There's the bear still moving around in the background there. And there he is again. He or she. But yeah, one of the reasons I put a camera here was because it looked like there was activity. Like, just to the right of the screen is where I was saying there were some bones. And they look like old deer bones, like quite old. You know, there's nothing left on them. But there were other spots there where it looked like maybe, I thought maybe elk were bedded down. Okay, now here we go. This, I think, is... It's either a red-tailed hawk or an immature bald eagle. I'll, I'll take guesses on that. I don't know. But there's a little stump here in the middle of the scene. And that's where he's perched. And that ends up being a, a focal point that I didn't really realize would be. Okay, now the screen is all fogged up for whatever reason here. It looks like it's bright out. And there's the bear on the left-hand side. I don't know what they're up to here, if anything. It's looking at, looks like he's looking at the camera, looking around, looking back again. And sadly, this is blurry like this, but I still thought it was interesting. Because it's just sitting there. And I think this bear is responsible for what I thought might be places where the elk were bedding down. It's just like a nice little small opening in an otherwise uh, fairly thick bit of forest here, like second growth planted forest, as you can see. And there goes bear. And you're going to get a little glimpse of what I think is baby bear here in a minute. And it seems to get something. There it is. It's got something in its mouth. I'll show again. Slow-mo. There it is. So maybe that's one of those bones there, but <clears throat> as we go here, you're going to see there is obviously there is something fresh. It. There we go with a Stellar's J. These things are so pretty, but there's a bunch of them around, which is also a sign of scavenging because that's what they do. Definite scavengers. So right where the J hopped down, I have a feeling is where that deer ended up. And that's where there was a pile of old bones. Now check this out. Very rare one for the cameras here to get a bald eagle like that. That's so cool. Another sign of scavenging as noble looking as they are. They're definite scavengers. And our next set of scavengers. Big time. Ravens. And I'm a big raven fan. I love these things. And there's a ton of video with these. So I cut it back a lot. There's, you know, more than people are going to want to watch, but I do love these things, and I've got some of it. Got some of it to share here. Watch what these guys are digging around at, too. Again, there's something on the ground that the camera cannot see. And ravens are famous for hiding stuff, and that's going to come up here, because I think they're pulling out things. Oh, there's something. No hiding that. Okay, bye. Now, <laughs> here we go. Suddenly there's a snowfall. And the raven's back. And it's digging in the snow over there quite deliberately. Like it has got something hidden in there. He's eating something. Always in pairs.
and they're definitely going at something here. I wish I had the tilt on the camera down a little more. Well, next time I'm out there, I'll see what the hell's on the ground. It looks like something is added to the bone collection, because what I was there, what was there when I was there, was there, there was nothing left to pick at, not like these guys are obviously working at. And he's got some substantial there. the other one. Now there's a couple spot this. Look at this. Some of the snow is gone here now, but whatever that is, that's fresh. <sighs> whatever that is, I'm not sure. Give me your guess, but uh, possibly some deer guts or something. I, I could have trimmed this more, but I like watching these guys, and hopefully you guys do too. Now we're getting near the end, and uh, this, look at this. That looks like a whole chunk of rib or something that he pulled out. <clears throat> wow. Well, thanks for coming along, folks. That's about it. We appreciate it. There's links in the description to cameras we use, and if you enjoyed this, please share it with someone. Like, subscribe, share, you know all that. Thanks, folks.